Okay, guys, I ran out of memory space, but back to the ingredients. Um, salt, lemon juice powder, spices, garlic powder, dehydrated red bell pepper, natural and artificial flavors is in this guacamole mix. Now, I picked up two different kinds of avocados. Not sure what's the best kind or if there's a difference, but this one said American avocado there's no tag on it right now but when i picked it up it said american avocado and these little ones i got three of the big ones one two if i can get it out the plastic three three big ones okay and i want to try it you guys if i can find some things that I can eat besides a lot of junk. I tried the um, hummus and I think it's something going on with my stomach. I don't know, but that stuff had me messed up, y'all. But I'm gonna try it again. But these two little ones that I have, these were two, these were 99 cents. These are the it says avocado from Mexico. Haas avocados is what it says. Okay. So I have two of these. So I don't know the difference. I don't know what they smell like. I don't know what they taste like. I don't know anything. So I need you guys to give me some recipes down below. I bought also um, some lemons, which I didn't bring in here with me. And then I got a bag of limes. So the little limes. And these smell so good through the skin. Oh. So, I don't know if I'm supposed to add lime to it. I know I can Google some recipes. But all you ladies, I know all my sisters and brothers out there that cook. And y'all eat these kinds of things. Y'all could tell me down below what you guys use. Please do. So, I can um, try this. And, you know, if all else fails and I don't like it, at least I gave it a try. You know what I mean? So, I want to do that. I want to try that. So, and I know, I don't know if you're supposed to add garlic to it or what. But, yeah, so those were all of my finds for yesterday. I also made a big fruit salad. I took pictures and put it on um, Instagram, and I made individual bowls of fruit. Um, I used pineapple, strawberries, grapes, cantaloupe, and peaches is what I used. And what I did was made a simple syrup out of just dissolve some sugar, granulated sugar, and some water. And let it come to room temperature. And I added it on top. And I just let it sit. And that's what all of this juice is in the bottom. I don't know if y'all can see that. Mm -hmm. So this is my bowl for today. I don't know how many... I got this little container from Dollar Tree. Um, and they came three in a pack for a dollar. So I got six of these. Well, I got two packs, which had three in each pack, which made six. And then I got a round set with a green top that had three in a pack for a dollar. And that set was a little bigger than this one. So I fixed up all of those last night. And I had some left that I had to use one of my storage containers that I had left. So Mia ate that one last night. Janae has had one. And I mean, we sat and we were watching a lot of videos last night, you guys, and movies, and we were just eating fruit. We also had shrimp, um, something that, I mean, I don't know the price of shrimp and stuff in you guys' area or whatever type of seafood, or if you like seafood, but we call it a goodie pot um, to the point where I put shrimp, um, sausage, potatoes, and um, eggs. <sighs> meaning boiled eggs you put the eggs in there and let it boil um you can put oysters you can put clams anything i say small items okay not oysters and clams because that's just the what we call the normal crab pot but just a goodie pot something for that night um if you have a store that sells the crab legs not the king or the snow crab legs but the blue crab legs you can do blue crab legs you can do sausage corn potatoes eggs and smoked neck bones. Um, you can put all of that in there. And you can boil that. And that is a good 
savory, satisfying, stick to your behind kind of, you know, something. And it gives a little spice, a little flavor, something outside of the normal than I know what I cook every day. You know, neck bones, mashed potatoes, stuff that really stick to you. But that was something quick. You just throw it all in the pot and let it boil for 15, 20 minutes and you good to go. Okay. 30 minutes at tops. Depends on what all you use. So we had that last night and we had this for our dessert. I didn't even eat all of my shrimp last night. Hold on a minute. Jay Booger. Jalen. Let me see if she hear me. Jalen. She's not feeling good, y'all. Go look in the refrigerator. My little black bowl I had last night with my shrimp in it. Bring it here. I'm going to show you. I couldn't even eat it all last night. It was so much in there. And so, this is what it looks like. Try not to waste it. Ooh, it smells divine, you guys. Ooh. I'm going to try a cantaloupe. I love cantaloupe. Mm-hmm. I also... I zest a lemon. And all the zest off of the lemon, I sprinkled on top. Thank you, baby. I don't know. I might have to take her to the emergency room tonight. Because um, the clinic will be closed by the time my husband get off from work. So I had this. Um, I had some food come in this the other day. And I, I like to save these little containers, y'all. But this is what I had left. Um, I ate all the sausage out. But the shrimp. And... This is just celery and onion. You know, that was the seasoning that I put in the pot. But this is what I was eating for dinner last night. And um, so tonight, I don't know what I'm going to cook tonight, but I got to find, figure out something. Because I want dinner to be done when my husband come home tonight. He's got a pretty long day. He had to be to work early this morning. And so... I want to fix something special for him. I don't know what yet. I might make him. I might. Um, take some chicken breast. And take it off the bone. Season it really well. Flour it. And fry. the um, Fry it in big strips. And make him a salad. Because I know he loves salad. And so my, this is me, I, I like to um, pour it on. So I do, oh, darn, I got to get my, my stuff to make my salad dressing. I can do that when he come home. So I might have to put this meal off to tomorrow because I want it to be a surprise for him. Um, salad dressing, I make mix my own salad dressing. But I add some stuff, store-bought, and I just combine different things together. To create the salad dressing but i want to do the chicken strips spinach tomatoes bacon bits um bell peppers um boiled eggs a little cheese and salad toppings and the salad toppings that he likes has sunflower seeds and all that other kind of stuff in there so i want to chop that up really good and just put everything on it and mix up my salad dressing. The salad dressing is a, a seasoning mix that I get out of a pasta size box. It's the um, classic Italian um, salad dressing mix packet that's in that seasoning. So I mix that with red wine vinegar, apple cider vinegar, olive oil, and the zesty, robust Italian salad dressing. I mix all of that together in a squeeze bottle and that's what I use as his dressing. And he absolutely loves it. I may even make a little pasta tonight and put that dressing on, let it cool completely off. And um, uh, I might grill some chicken with no skin and put some tomatoes over in there. And then just lay the chicken on top with the salad dressing. I might do that. Something that can stick to him. Not real heavy. But we're trying to change our eating habits. So 
It'll be one or the other. Mm. Ooh. That pineapple. Mm. See, it turned colors, you guys. Look at that. Let me turn the light off. Look at that. Mm -hmm. The red is from the strawberries. Mm. What you say? No wonder my kids was kept saying, Mama, this is so good. It is. Mm. Mm -hmm. Even the strawberries. Mm -hmm. And they're so juicy to the point where you don't even have to chew them. Just roll them around in your mouth and they melt. Mm hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Look, I don't open the shrimp and this at the same time. Let's try a peach. I left the skin on it and everything. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, I think I might have spent, I don't even think I spent $20 on fruit. Because the pineapple was two for $5. Um, the grapes were uh, $2.39. So that's seven dollars and thirty nine cent. The cantaloupe were two for five. So that's seventeen dollars and thirty nine cent. Um, I think the peaches were like three dollars. So that's twenty. Well, I did spend twenty dollars. Um, and the strawberries were two for five. So I probably spent about thirty dollars on fruit. I didn't even put both um baskets of strawberries in mm. now if i had waited and gone to the flea market i would it would have been dirt cheap i went to the grocery store and bought this the flea market i could have gotten um the cantaloupe for a dollar the pineapple would have been pretty much about the same, probably about $2 a piece. Um, the strawberries would have been $2 a basket. The peaches would have been $2 a basket. So, yeah, it would have been a bigger difference if I had went to the flea market, which I may do it this weekend because I know this fruit will be gone within the next, between today and tomorrow. Because, let's see, three, six, nine. I had nine fruit cups, and it's eight of us. And Corey's not going to eat one. My husband will eat two. So, everybody have their own fruit cup. So, I know this will be gone by today. And, um, so I'm going to need to go, what's today, Thursday? So, yeah, the, and the flea market opens up on Saturday. So, Saturday morning. We could get a refresher of fruit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I am going to close out this video. Um, I hope everybody is doing well. Let me know down below. Um, what you guys are doing today. Don't forget me with the um, recipe or ingredients for the avocado mix. Um, to my girl, Simply Kim. Hey, sugar. I'm glad I found you. I've been looking for you for the longest. You know, because you changed your name on you. When y'all change your name, y'all, you know, I know y'all can't just think, oh, I got to let Risa know. No. But I know eventually I'll find you guys. And so I'm going to get in my bed with my fruit cup. Excuse me, y'all. I just had to do that. I don't know why. <laughs> but I'm going to get in my bed and with my fruit cup and my laptop after I upload these videos. And I am going to catch up on your videos. Um, 
to my girl Marnie. Hey, sugar. To my girl Pinky Mix Kitty, I love you, boo. And hug my niece poo for me. Um, to Miss Unique the Design. Hey, girl, I'm coming to check out your videos too for this week to see what you done bought. Because I know you done bought something. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. CC Charles. Hey, sugar. I just got a, a notification at the top of my phone. Let me know you commented on my video. Um, and I just thank y'all so much. I do. Mm-hmm. Mm. God darn, that's good. Y'all. Mm-hmm. Let me get off of him. I still got to make my footies, y'all. So I might... I got a lot that I can do today. Or I might wait till tomorrow because I'm not going out tomorrow night. But then I'm supposed to go to work with my husband and just sit there and relax. So between today and tomorrow, I'm going to get started on my footies. I know I got to redo my video. For my DIY flip-flops. The DIY flip-flops. So I got to see if it's on my laptop. But if not, I'll have to redo it. That's one. And then this is the other pair, you guys. And it was a bow at the front. Let me tie the bow back. What I did was, it's like a sandal. Can y'all see that? This goes behind your um, heel. And this is the front of the shoe. This is the bow. Let's see. It's not tied very well. Because I just tied it. But. Y'all get the idea. That's the bow. And this goes behind your ankle. I twist it like that. And then slide my foot in. It's the bow. Cute little flip flop. Yeah. So that was I did that the other night. I recorded it. I gotta find the video. Um and then I got my pom poms. Of course, my little one, he already opened my box for my flip flops. Not flip flops, y'all. For the dog on socks. Oh, excuse me. So I'm signing off for the moment. I want to say hey to Doll Baby 4400. I love you. Yes, I do. You are just as sweet as you can be. You are gorgeous. I love how she make her wigs, you guys. I'm going to have to just come back and do another chit-chat video. Y'all know, I think some of y'all like coming in and sitting and I talk with y'all. You know, um, it is what it is. And I'm going to get my scriptures together so we can do our devotional for tonight. Yeah, we got to get it in. We got to get it in. Yes, he's been good to us, y'all. Mm-hmm. Bye, sugar. If I hit the button. <laughs>